Hi, my name is Isabel Frommel, and I started No Makeup Week for Girls at my school. And here's how it happened. So it was back in September. There was a day I went to school and I wore a decent amount of eye makeup, or at least more eye makeup than what I would usually wear. And I got a lot of compliments. A lot of people told me I looked really pretty. And for once, it didn't feel that great to be told that and you know I pondered that feeling and the thoughts that came after it and I realized that I didn't feel good about those compliments because I knew that that makeup was temporary and that I was being complimented on something that wasn't even a part of me so I got up the nerve and courage to go the following week without makeup and that was something I had never done before I I've never set foot or had never set foot out in public with a, a bare face before because I was really self-conscious of my dark circles but when I did that week without makeup I I changed I and you know maybe not everyone is going to change right away but I can thankfully say I did I felt more confident in myself and I felt more inspired to to show that we don't need to look a certain way for society and we don't need to owe our faces to society's standards that we are each our own individual and you know the scars we have on our faces the blemishes the dark circles that's a part of who we are and those imperfections is what makes us beautiful My name is Arden, and I feel beautiful with or without makeup. Hi, I'm Hannah Feeder, and I feel beautiful with or without makeup. I'm Renee Janice, and I'm beautiful with or without makeup. Hi, I'm Maddie, and I feel beautiful with or without makeup. Hi, my name is Shannon Gilroy, and I feel beautiful with or without makeup. Hi, I'm Michaela Benson, and I feel beautiful Hi, with or without Lizzie makeup. Hi, my name is Lizzie Russell, and I feel beautiful with or without I makeup. I am beautiful with and without makeup. So I decided to establish the week the first week of February and what I did is I chose some girls that were in my classes and friends of mine that usually wore makeup and I interviewed them and just tried to see what it was like for them and see how you know you a girl can just feel empowered by having the sense of support and, and confidence in herself. So the first question is how often do you wear makeup and why? I wear makeup every day because it helps me I become more confident. It helps me be confident in myself. Um, I wear makeup pretty much every day just because I like doing my makeup a lot. <laughs> um, I typically wear it every school day, but I don't really wear it on the weekends just because let my skin breathe. I don't really know. <laughs> I, it's just part of my everyday routine. I put my clothes on, I brush my hair, I do my makeup, I dress my face. Every day. <laughs> I'm wearing it every day. And I guess it's just because I look a little bit better with makeup. A little bit of mascara and eyeliner and like cover up the red spots on my cheeks. That's why I wear it. I wear it every day to school and during the weekends just because like I feel like it's something I should do. Kind of like everyone else is doing it so I need to. That kind of feeling. I've never not had makeup on. So it's kind of become like a. It's become a it's become like a second skin, like a, it's a like a, a back brace kind of. You know, I realized that, you know, I was scared to do this, but at the same time, I was more excited than anything. I'd Why did you say yes to doing this? Because I wanted to prove to myself that I would be able to do this. Um, I said yes to this to try like something new at school and to like, you know, give myself an extra like five, ten minutes in the morning, like an extra few minutes of sleep or something. And I just wanted to see like what people's reaction would be, especially like my close friends and everything because they all wear makeup every single day, a full face every day. Um, I thought, do I want to go to school surrounded by thousands of my peers looking like I just woke up, not necessarily, but and then I realized like what do I have to lose? I don't know, it was something I'd never done before and I just like, it was, I've always like kind of felt like 
oh, like, I should just, like, not wear makeup to school today, like, I don't feel good or something, but then I'm like, no, like, I'm gonna put it on anyway, but since, like, we had, like, a big group of people doing it, then I felt better about doing it. That's great. I said yes because I don't know how to say no <laughs> for a good cause, but I don't ever mind being taken out of my comfort zone. I said yes to doing this because it's normal for me not to wear makeup. So, and I just wanted to show other people who feel like they have to wear makeup that it's okay not to for really any reason. And I realized that I want to love my own skin and without any makeup. I want to be confident and be myself without having to put it on every morning. So, why would I say no? I decided to promote a week where we would show that makeup is not a need, but a want. Do you feel confident without makeup? Um, to a certain extent, I didn't really at the beginning of this, and then now I guess it's been four days that I haven't worn makeup to school. I feel a lot more confident in myself than I did in the very beginning. I do feel confident with my face without makeup. I haven't really, I've only done it a few other times, gone out without makeup on, and today I felt really confident. I, I mean, I was able to do the same things. It was just like a normal day to me. I feel like I'm more, or less confident sometimes wearing makeup because I'm more worried about what it looks like, if it's smudged, if it's all over my face, or if it looks weird. The longer that I have, that I'm going without makeup, the more confident that I feel. So when I went without makeup, by the time I got to school, I forgot I was even not wearing it. I think life is a scary opportunity in itself, so why not take every little minuscule one that's within it? Um, and I think that starts with little things like going a week without makeup. No. <laughs> I wasn't scared to do it. I knew that I would make me uncomfortable at times, but I wasn't scared that I would, wouldn't go through it with it or anything like that. It wasn't that I was scared. I just, I didn't know how people would react, if they would notice that I did um, not have makeup on or if they just didn't even care. So I guess it's not me, but what other people thought. Yeah, at the beginning of the week, especially the first day, I was really nervous about it just because, you know, my face is breaking out, I don't love my skin, I don't love my eyebrows all that much, but towards the end of the week I felt more confident in not wearing makeup because I was like, oh, people have already seen me like this, they understand what I look like with and without makeup. So I think I definitely felt more secure with myself by the end of the week. I think in today's society we have forgotten that, you know, our individuality is what makes us beautiful. It's not looking like that model on, you know, in Victoria's Secret catalogs because it's not real and even if they are that beautiful, that's not that's just one person and someone else out there in the world could think that they're not beautiful at all. Why do you think makeup a lot of times is abused, I guess? Absolutely. I think it has become, uh, it has imposed this obsession amongst younger and younger and younger um, youth. It, I think that is one of the big changes that have, has definitely happened. Okay, I've watched like YouTube tutorials like, oh, like this is how I cover up my acne or whatever. Yeah. And they just like pile it on just doing so much and they're just like covering up what their face like really looks like. like, right. like I don't know, like, why do you need to do that? Like, that's not the reason that we're supposed to use makeup. We're just right. like, it's more just to like, accentuate what you already have, you know? Exactly. Do you think that's a problem with our society? You know, there are girls that spend all day long watching, you know, makeup tutorials and other girls and models and twerking and, <laughs> and <laughs> selfies and stuff. And we just get, it's making us shallow and we're caring too much about physical appearance and you know that's time that you could spend finding out what makes you passionate and happy. I think the portrayal on in the media, music videos, etc. it's not just putting on mascara anymore, it's putting on fake eyelashes. It's not just plucking your eyebrows anymore, it's adding two or three different eyebrow products. It has definitely inundated youth lives more and more and more throughout the years, definitely. Letting people see what you actually look like I think is a, like a big part of actually accepting what you look like, accepting yourself, and I think that people who are too afraid to show their real selves in front of people haven't accepted themselves, and I can't, I can't think that people who haven't accepted themselves should expect acceptance from others. Do you think society has made girls feel inferior and have this need to wear makeup rather than want to wear it? Yeah, I think it's kind of both. I mean, obviously there are people out there that feel like they have to wear makeup, they can't go out of the house without makeup, 
but then there's people that just like to do makeup. So I'm kind of both ways. I mean, I'll leave the house without makeup, but I think society has definitely pressured me into that a little bit to first try makeup at least. Yeah. To put makeup on in middle school and to really try changing your entire face when you don't even know who you are yet at that age, I think is detrimental to finding that identity of, of who you are because sometimes your inside and your outside are linked together. And if you're constantly changing your outside, you don't even give yourself a chance to find out who you are in your inside. You know, this may be a little thing, but if we give room for girls to have more confidence, then they can have confidence to change the world. And as cliche as that sounds, it does start with, you know, one person, and it has to turn into something big. So why not take the opportunity to do it? I want people to take from this experience that they don't need makeup to feel like they look beautiful. And I'm not saying that makeup's bad, but it's also not needed for everything. You don't need to put on makeup to go to the gym. You don't need to put it on after you come out. You just have to be comfortable in your own skin and use makeup as something, kind of as an accessory like you'd wear a necklace, more than part of who you are. Um, I've taken away that it's okay to not wear makeup all the time because I don't know, it made me feel pretty confident in not wearing makeup and showing people what I actually looked like and I think that people should definitely try this even without the like no makeup week challenge. Um, yeah, I think it was a good time. I liked it. <laughs> I think that the project in itself it has a good meaning and I think girls should practice it. I think there should be more people who take a week out of the month and don't wear makeup and like, lets everybody see their natural face. It inspires people to not want to wear makeup to see themselves as what they really look like and not what they want themselves to look like. Beautiful you are. So everyone should embrace what they look like naturally instead of like... You know, at the end of the day, I think we all try to impress others, but first we should try to impress ourselves. Um, what would you say to other girls about this project? Um, I would tell them that they should definitely try it because it definitely boosts self-esteem when you've proven to yourself that you're able to go in front of all these people and have a bare face and be natural. And I would definitely say do it. I would definitely recommend to do it because the first day I even like paused for a second and had some doubt whether I was really gonna go through with it. And I said, well, I think I'll put some makeup on just cause I, you know, that's just what I do. Um, and then by day two and three, I felt like it doesn't matter. I felt a pressure lifted day two and three. But I felt really good the whole week. I didn't feel ugly or anything. I felt beautiful without my makeup. I mean, everybody's always gonna feel a little bit of insecurity, but just own what you look like and own how you act. I think um, anyone, not only girls, when they're more individual, when they're not trying to be someone else, it usually works out better for them and they can basically feel more at ease. Uh, I think makeup can be a, an amazing asset to complement natural beauty, but I think some girls are trying to become things that they're not, which is just never the best thing because, as cheesy as it sounds, they're usually the most beautiful when they just add to what they already have versus trying to become something else. Because when you try to become something else, you're never going to get there because that's not where you're meant to be. Do you think it's good for girls to participate? Sure, it's a good idea, yeah. Why? I mean, it helps people get out of their, or girls get out of their comfort zone. Usually that helps promote growth and, I guess, character development. Um, it's funny because their confidence really did grow as the week went on, and that was really inspiring. I am currently in my car with makeup on because I forgot to film this yesterday, so disregard that fact. But I did participate in Isabella's No Makeup Week Challenge. I loved it. I think it was a then for the no makeup week yesterday was the first day that I really went with no makeup. And what's really weird is that I was in a really good mood that day. Like I was saying hey to people that I'd like never say hey to before, which is weird because I thought I'd feel more vulnerable. We definitely need to be there for each other, especially in this very new competitive social media world. It's so funny because you know, this whole thing about beauty and, you know, what life really looks like is just perception. We can perceive life to be whatever we want it to be, so why not perceive it as original and beautiful? But it has to start with perceiving yourself that way. 
So, what is one thing that you find beautiful about your face? Um, I think my like complexion is really nice. I really like that about myself. My blue eyes. <laughs> Great. My rosy cheeks. I mean, I really like the color of my eyes. I really love my eyes a lot. I really love the color. I think that makes me feel beautiful. Um, in no way am I saying that makeup is a bad thing because it's not. I think we've just gotten lost in what makeup is for. It's to enhance our natural self and our beauty. Um, but instead we've been using it as masks and I think that's very sad. But I think this No Makeup Week was more than just not wearing makeup. It was symbolic of women's acceptance and, you know, their uh, potential to be so powerful in this society. Embrace your hair, embrace your eyes, embrace your smile because it is beautiful.